In 208 AD, Liu Zhang heard that Cao Cao was going south to conquer Jingzhou, so he sent three successive emissaries to pay Cao Cao a visit, making it clear that he wanted to submit to the imperial court. On the first two visits, Cao Cao was pleased and gave Liu Zhang many rewards, which was a great honor for Liu Zhang. After Cao Cao occupied Jiangling, Liu Zhang sent a messenger for the third time, this time it was Zhang Song, the deputy governor of Yizhou, but this time, Liu Zhang screwed up. On the one hand, Cao Cao is tired of Liu Zhang's behavior of coming to test the waters over and over again, on the other hand, Cao Cao has just defeated Liu Bei and pacified Jin Zhou, so he's in a state of his complacency, and he's very cold towards Zhang Song. So Zhang Song, who had held his anger, simply ran to Liu Bei's battalion. Liu Bei had long had the intention of annexing Yi Zhou, and after learning of Zhang Song's identity, he welcomed him with the grandest courtesy, sincere and full of enthusiasm, and made very considerate arrangements. Liu Bei originally comes with an irresistible magical charm, when in Ping Yuan, Liu Bei was able to sensitize the assassin without even realizing it, and now it is not as easy as flipping a palm to consciously move Zhang Song. So Zhang Song was deeply attracted to Liu Bei, and for the first time in his life, he felt the aura of a wise master. The two became close friends in a short time, and when Liu Bei asked him about the width of the roads in Yi Zhou, the location of the weapons and government stores, and the deployment of troops in various fortresses, Zhang Song gave him detailed answers. Zhang Song's memory was extraordinary, he was afraid that Liu Bei couldn't remember it, he also drew a detailed map of Yi Zhao's mountains and rivers and gave it to Liu Bei. Zhang Song's betrayal of his master was really thoughtful. Yi Zhou is rich in materials, well populated, has many talents, and also has numerous natural dangers, which is easy to defend and difficult to attack. It is like a beautiful girl wrapped in layers, standing in front of the public with a shy and cold face. But such a beautiful girl was stripped naked by the lewd face Zhang Song in front of Liu Bei. Although Liu Bei has not yet touched her, he has already skimmed her beauty and probed her depths. For this war that is bound to come, what chance of victory does Liu Zhang still have? Zhang Song, an inconspicuous little man, inadvertently changed the course of history. In December 208 AD, after witnessing Cao Cao's disastrous defeat at Red Cliff, Zhang Song returned to Chengdu, where he did his best to minimize Cao Cao's worthlessness while vigorously advocating Liu Bei's benevolence. Under his persuasion, Liu Zhang severed his ties with Cao Cao and even sent Fa Jing and Meng Da, with thousands of elite soldiers, to help Liu Bei defend Jing Zhou. Since then, Liu Zhang's foreign policy took a decisive turn. Facing Liu Zhang's initiative to show goodwill, Liu Bei, of course, accepts it all. Fa Jing and Meng Da also became Liu Bei's men in a short period of time after their return, they conspired with Zhang Song to assist Liu Bei to enter Yi Zhou. In 210 AD, Liu Bei was elected by Liu Qi's former subordinates to be the provincial governor of Jing Zhou and took over the Jiangling region from Sun Quan. In March of the following year, Cao Cao ordered Zhong Yao, the commandant of Suli, to command Xia Hou Yuan, Xu Huang, and other generals, heading south to attack Han Zhong. Liu Zhang was terrified, so Zhang Song took the opportunity to advise Liu Zhang that he should rely on Liu Bei's power to fight against Zhang Lu. Liu Zhang belongs to the typical self-confusion, and then anxious to find a wrong doctor. Wang Chuan, his counselor, advised, Liu Bei is brave and good at fighting, and his reputation is far-reaching, so you are no match for him. Once he arrives, if you treat him as a subordinate, he will not be satisfied, if you treat him as a guest, he will not leave for a while. How can one state accommodate two monarchs? We might as well close the borders, guard the fortresses, and see what happens first. If Liu Zhang adopts Wang Chuan's suggestion, then Liu Bei will lose the best opportunity to enter Yi Zhou, and it will definitely be much more difficult afterwards. This is because Liu Zhang will soon realize that Cao Cao actually has no intention of attacking Han Zhong for a short time. But at this time, Liu Zhang, who had already been brainwashed by Zhang Song, how could he still listen? So Huang Chuan was relegated to the position of magistrate of Guanghan County. Under Liu Zhang's leadership in Yi Zhou, either as Qin Mi, Dong He, who have good behavior but no great talent, either as Zhang Song, Fa Jin, although their talent is superb, but the character is flawed. Others like Pang Shi, Li Yan, Xu Jing, and so on, 
no matter the governing, commanding, or behavior, can hardly be considered as the best, only Huang Chuan can be said to be both moral and talented. But such talent, Liu Zhang does not know how to use him, an official of Yizhou, Wang Lei, hanged himself upside down on the city gate to advise Liu Zhang not to lure wolves into the house, but Liu Zhang still refused to listen, so Wang Lei killed himself. Liu Zhang ordered all parts of Yizhou to provide Liu Bei with provisions, be respectful and make Liu Bei feel at home. Then he sent Fa Jing again with 4,000 soldiers and huge amount of money and supplies to Jing Zhou to invite Liu Bei, but he did not expect that as soon as Fa Jing met Liu Bei, he said, My lord, you are a man with great wisdom, while Liu Zhang is cowardly, and Zhang Song is the important official of Yi Zhou. If we use him as an internal agent, with the richness and natural dangers of Yi Zhou to accomplish a great cause, is it not as easy as turning a palm? Liu Bei deeply agreed, and made up his mind to seize Yi Zhou. In 211 AD, Liu Bei ordered his most trusted men, Zhu Guoliang, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and Zhao Yun, to stay in Jing Zhou. He himself took Peng Tong, Fa Jing, Huang Zhong, Wei Yan, Jian Yong, Hua Jun, Zhuo Ying, and other generals, led more than 20,000 soldiers, took ships from Jiangling up against the Yangtze River, in a mighty and majestic pose, toward the land of abundance, which he's longed for it.